What is going on guys? Today I just wanted to share with you 15 brands that you want to be on the lookout for when you're out sourcing for these items, whether you're at the thrift, the bins, uh, the salvo, the car boot sales, the flea market, the swap meet, the bando, wherever you guys are sourcing your items. Um, these are brands that we need to be knowing, okay? Let's jump right into the video. My name is Ari. I'm on Instagram and on YouTube as Nothing New Thrifts. I run this eBay store and this channel together with my wife. Um, this is actually a thrift haul from over two days. We hit 10 thrift stores. Um, yeah, this is all from two days. So pretty stoked, pretty sweet finds. Um, we've managed to raise our ASP about $7 over the last four months, really just focusing on finding better items. Um, so yeah, we just wanna share some of those items we've been finding with you, okay? You're definitely gonna wanna stick around till the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna save my favorite find for the end. Pretty epic, should be worth a couple hundred dollars, and it's actually one of my favorite brands. All right, right off the bat, I'm gonna give a good one away, okay? I think uh, a lot of people probably don't know about this. Birdwell, here, so Birdwell Beach Britches. Birdwell Beach Britches. I think I may have passed on this once or twice in my career, um, but the last time I found it, or one of the recent times I found it, I looked it up, and I was able to buy a pair off of somebody at the bins, sold quickly for about 50 bucks, um, and now I found it about three different times. We pulled three pairs at the thrift the other day, and then we paid $8 a piece. These sell over 100% sell through rate at around $50 a pop. These corduroy ones should go for even more. Here's one everybody should know, but some people don't. <clears throat> cool. Look out for that logo. Look out for this style button. Um, not to be confused with like the Jerry button that does the same thing, but yeah, this is cool little like push in button um yeah cool usually the style is on the inside of the leg keep an eye out for cool k-u-h-l nike everybody knows nike but you need to be on the lookout for nike acg all conditions gear these are some uh, snow pants i was actually able to buy off of one of my buddies slash sources slash good friends um so yeah shout out to my bud Boom, oh, here's a little logo right here. All conditions gear, Nike. It's their uh, like outdoorsy line. Oh, now we got some fun stuff right here, okay? Um, one of my favorite brands to find all time, Stussy. This is sick, nice black and white striped extra large. I actually got this in the same <clears throat> bulk buyout off of my buddy there, so that was awesome. I found these. Um, Stussy swim shorts are a big bolo. They can go for some good money. Um, I'm probably gonna be trading these off to one of my friends for some uh, some bread and butter items. I know he wants these. Boom, got that set aside for you, sir. Hoo -hoo. One of, uh, in my opinion, like the most iconic Stussy graphics. The eight ball. Um, love this graphic. Love this color. Pretty uh, pretty rare, I think, for a, for a Stussy item. Um, yeah, I think we paid six or seven bucks for this. Uh, probably gonna list this for like 40 bucks, honestly. Uh, maybe more. Made in Mexico. Yeah, maybe we're listing this for 50 bucks. Oh, I've been trying to find a Honolulu Marathon shirt. It's pretty sick. Nike Honolulu Marathon on like the 2000s tag, I think. It's gray tag. Made in Mexico, same thing. Um, yeah, oh, nice little hit on the back. Next up, we only have a couple t-shirts. This is a vintage Pepe Jeans London shirt, like color block or two-tone, pretty sick. This was together with the Honolulu shirt on a rack. So shout out to that guy. So I don't wanna rant too much. I just wanna say the good stuff is out there, guys. We don't need to be sitting at home um, listing a bunch of janky items put in the work, learn the brands, hit the streets, find better items, it makes the listing more fun, it makes the sales a lot easier. I think a lot of problems come from bad inventory. You know, having to run sales, having to discount your items, having to optimize your listings. You don't have to optimize a listing on a on a banger, on a grail. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the goal. The goal is just better items, higher ASP, um, and then slowly start raising the listing goal again. So let's, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. One of the craziest things that I hear people say is that they never find Lululemon. Um, okay, maybe your thrift is, is catching a lot of it and, and not putting it out on the racks, 
but bro, we have to catch them slipping. Um, this is a really good item that you can catch them slipping on, okay? Look at this. Not a single Lululemon logo anywhere, okay? You have to know the feel. You have to know the feel. And then you'll start finding where the little logos are, okay? Look, boom, here's a little logo on the, like on the waistband, okay? And then if you flip the inside button, you check on the inside of the inside button, boom, we got ourselves a little Lululemon logo there as well. And then here, one more. Normally on the inside of the right pocket, oh, there we go, we've got the size button, the back right pocket. This is a size 30, which means that we're going to be trying these on. But yes, should be good for about $50, 40 to $50 on the Lululemon chinos that are usually just sitting on the rack because nobody knows that they're Lululemon. This is actually a stack of five Lululemon pieces that I'm going to run through right now just to show you guys um, that there is Lululemon out there. Okay, boom. All of these were found at different thrift stores, you know, one at a time here and there. You just gotta grind it out, people. Here's some nice ones. Um, this is another little variation. Oh no, not this one. It's subtle, though. look. It's like tonal. They're not like popping out. They're not like highlighter colors. They're like very subtle little logos. Again, I think a lot of it is the feel. You have to start to learn the feel. And you're like, oh, this is quality. What is this? Oh, here's the other variation of the logo. Um, I gotta educate myself a little bit. Can you even see that? It's like a little, yeah. That's why people don't find it. They can't see it. Okay. There you go. It's like a little, like, a uh, square with the Omega sign on the inside. Last but not least. Boom. All right, next in, I'm gonna throw in two women's brands because it doesn't hurt to have some knowledge on both sides. We didn't do any women's stuff before. Um, and I think we might have been leaving a little bit of money on the table. Um, now we know some women's stuff and at least it's enough to check through the fresh racks and know like if we're, if we're missing anything there. Um, this is a good one to look out for. Eileen Fisher, I think a lot of people know this one. Um, they make a lot of different kinds of items. Um, obviously look out for the substantial pieces and like the bigger sizes. Eileen Fisher is a good one. Another good women's brand that we've only found once, one other time this is our second time finding it. This is Lily Pulitzer. Um, I think these are just some like basic little shorts. I don't know how much these are going for, but the last piece we found, I think it was a sweater, sold for 40 or $50 within like a day or two. First time finding this brand, William Murray, Bill Murray's brand. Um, I have to double check. I believe these were going for like $50, $60. Um, so be on the lookout. William Murray, Bill Murray, they make uh, golf stuff. Um, First time finding it, this pair of shorts here, but I know they make uh, polos and shirts and stuff. So definitely a, a good one to be on the lookout for. Jeans were one of like the items that we never had luck with at the beginning. Um, I think we used to find like really good jeans and we just couldn't sell them. Um, I think my pictures kind of sucked because I used to do like hanging photography. So like it makes the jeans look a little like a little funny. Um, I don't know if I didn't provide the right measurements, uh, if I wasn't describing them right, but I feel like we just couldn't sell a pair of jeans. Um, anyways, we sell jeans now. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys like six pairs of jeans here. Um, pretty solid stuff that you can pretty safely pick up. Be careful paying $10 at the thrifts or more for this stuff. Um, but if you're at the flea or at the bins, um, most of this stuff should be pretty safe. Vintage um, 569 on this beautiful uh, classic blue wash. Just a you know, classic pair of vintage Levi's. These are vintage, these are 501s. These are vintage 501s. Um, you can tell they're vintage by a couple ways. Usually they'll say like, made in USA here on the back, um, or they'll, they won't have that like, three tag tag that a lot of Levi's have. Like if you see a new pair of Levi's, they'll have this like older paper tag on the inside somewhere. Kind of like a little crusty little paper tag. It says made in USA, and then they usually have the date somewhere on here, but mm, yeah, I'm not an expert, you know? Um, but yeah, these are vintage, vintage Levi's. There's like a nice plum colored, look out for like the weird colors. This is like a, like a nice plum color, should be pretty good. Our vintage Levi's we list for like $50 minimum. So yes, that's like starting, starting price. Um, I gotta look these up. These are vintage guests, made in USA. Um, I just thought they were cool because they're green. Again, an interesting colorway for a pair of vintage jeans. Oh, and this, talk about interesting. These are vintage 
560 orange tab Levi's in a purple colorway. Never seen a purple bear. That's pretty sweet. Orange tag was yelling off the rack. Boom. Pretty cool little find there. This brand, I guess, can be hit or miss, um, but it's usually pretty good for us. G Star Raw, G Star Raw. Um, yeah, look out for jeans, look out for jackets, look out for their button ups. Um, it's all like pretty, uh, pretty okay stuff. Again, be careful paying 10 or more at the thrifts, but should be okay at the fleas or the bins or anywhere like that. We paid a dollar for this at the flea market. I don't know how. Car uh, like carpenter jeans. I believe they're carpenter jeans and they have the little like a uh, hammer loop for your hammer. Yeah, paid a buck for these, pretty wild. Found these are the bins. Oh, that was it for the jeans. I guess this could be the last pair of considered jeans. The Dickies overalls in a beautiful black fade with a beautiful fray on the bottom. Um, I don't know if somebody threw these back at the bins. I think they did because they were sitting right on top in like the middle of the rotation. So that was a pretty sweet little find. That's it for the, uh, for the denim. I was trying to not make this a super long video, but Man, I've, we found so much stuff, okay? We found so much stuff. Next item, be on the lookout for Rain Spooner. Beautiful um, Hawaiian shirts. You'll start to learn what they look like. Like, Rain Spooners don't look like other Hawaiian shirts. They usually got this, like, kind of faded style to them. Um, but the patterns are usually, like, beautiful and kind of, like, top-notch. Um, yeah, you can kind of start to spot Rain Spooners from far away. This is a good one. Figs, okay. Um, I know people, uh, I don't know why people, I know figs are like uh, kind of meh, like the scrubs themselves, they're, they're kind of meh. Um, they sell for 15 to 20 bucks, you know, if you find them at the bins, they're not bad. But figs, like substantial pieces, are actually pretty solid. This is a figs vest, um, reversible vest. I don't know if it's like a lot more limited when they make stuff like this, but this is the second recent figs find like this. Um, and numbers were looking good i think this is gonna be like a 40 dollars vest at least um yeah pretty cool little find next up we have this infamous brand that everybody loves to find or can't find vori 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 um v u o r i this is one of the logos the little colorful one that's the easy one to spot um this is like the basic little logo they put on shirts their tag is like a long, kind of like, it, sometimes it looks more like this, sometimes it's a little longer, kind of like Lululemon style. Um, but yeah, these pants should be good for about 50 bucks. This shirt should be good for about 20 to 30. Um, I gotta double check on the shirt. I haven't found a Vory shirt in a little bit. Um, we usually find the pants pretty often and we can get about 50 bucks for them within a couple of days. We just sold a pair in like one day. Okay, almost done. Uh, two more items. This next one is a Super Bolo banger. Um, I believe Big Yumbo talked about this brand one time because I remember him saying something about a bunny. So when I saw this bunny, I was pretty excited. Um, the brand is called Tracksmith. Tracksmith. Tracksmith New England. Um, again, nothing on the shirt. Pretty basic shirt. Um, it's like a performance uh, workout shirt. Um, I believe it was like 200% sell-through rate at like fifty dollars or more on this um so beautiful find something very simple very basic um basic looking to be on the lookout for um do not pass on tracksmith imagine finding 10 of those that'd be amazing all right last find of the day all right now it's time for my favorite find this thing came at the end of the day we we're basically done thrifting we popped into a a, a local goodwill just because uh, it was on our route um you know planning on just checking fresh racks and this came off a fresh rack. Once we saw that, we basically ran through the entire show real fast. Um, yeah. You guys ready? Oh man. My heart kind of dropped when I saw it. Boom, let's go, I was gonna do the thumbnail. Yep. Polo Ralph Lauren, Spartans, 
um, Spartan's emblem, like embroidered patch on the back of this 2XL denim jacket. Um, not a lot of sales for something like this. They have like a varsity jacket, um, similar varsity jacket that sells for like 400 bucks. Um, I don't think I'll have any trouble getting at least 200 bucks for this. Let me know if you guys have seen this before, sold it before, have any experience. Um, badass jacket. Um, I guess I'm glad it's not my size because I'd probably be keeping it. Um, this has been one of my favorite brands like just personally since I started um, reselling. Um, one of my favorite brands to find, flip, wear. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful piece. We paid $10 for this at a, at a Goodwill. Um, yeah, you gotta get out there, folks. We gotta get out there. We gotta look for the brands. Here's the tag in case you need to see the tag, Polo Ralph Lauren. But if you see anything like this, we just grab it, okay? We grab it and we'll figure it out later. Um, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, hope you guys learned a new brand. If you did, uh, drop it in the comments below. I love to hear it. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I promise I will be pushing out more content um, here shortly. We're trying to get the shorts going. We'll try to get um, some more long videos going. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys wanna see, any questions you guys have. Again, drop them below. Uh, I appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.